Good morning. Inflation pressure triggered concern on earlier than expected tightening of monetary policy. U.S. Treasury yield and U.S. dollar index rose obviously. On the other hand, China new loan growth and M2 in April further slowed down, reflecting normalization of monetary policy in China. Although Hong Kong stock connect net inflow was strong on Wednesday, Hong Kong stock is still likely to suffer pressure today. Hang Seng Index is likely to test the support at recent low level on 27900. Hong Kong stock connect net inflow increased to 9.8 billion Hong Kong dollar, but it was due to lower selling orders, of which Tencent recorded a net buy of 3.7 billion Hong Kong dollar, while Meituan and Xiaomi also recorded office net buy. Tencent short-term support remained at 250-day moving average, which is around 571. Besides, driven by anticipation on wealth management connect to be launched later this year, Hong Kong banking stock performed well recently. In fact, banking stock is a beneficiary from monetary policy normalization. Investors could accumulate the related stocks such as BOC Hong Kong during witness. For today's topic is Razer 1337. Logitech, the major peripheral rival of Razer, reported Q1 sales growth of 117% year on year, reflecting strong PC game product demand amid easing COVID-19 pandemic. With its near peripheral products, we expect robust sales growth in the first quarter for Razer. And the company has been included as a component of MSCI Global Small Cap Indexes, which we expect passive purchase of its shares to support its share price performance. Razer has started repurchasing its shares since March 25th, with a total purchase of 107 million units up to date, reflecting confidence on company outlook. And the company is trading at 2.2 times 2021 forecast PS ratio. Razor valuation is undemanding compared to its peers. We assign a target price of 3.2 cut loss price at 2.4. Thank you.